I've had a lot of has been done. Um, some of them are done because I have a mother that died of a brain tumor. So because of that, I get has been done just to make sure that, you know, I don't end up with the same issue or have the same issues. Some has been done because my head gets worse sometimes to just make sure that it's still the same issue and not because of something else. And how does your head get worse sometimes? Sometimes I have worse migraines, but, um, you know, later on we figured out that it had more to do with the fact that when the weather changes, I, um, my migraines get worse. And did the doctors ever tell you you had, and I'm going to push this probably, uh, craniotomy? 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 I don't know what that Okay, so that answers the question. And were the CAT scans of your brain, or was it just Can you explain what that means? Because I don't want to, because maybe sure. I just don't remember the word. I just want to make sure, because I don't want later on someone to say, I said no, and I just don't know what that means. Just that I can can Um, 
So I'm asking you, uh, were the majority of your injuries, physical injuries, like you're saying your back, your bones, your face is disfigured, your nose, your plates, um, were there any physical injuries they sustained? No, I also describe the fact that I have issues with, you know, language and um, decoding and um, sometimes remembering things right away, at, you know, um, and also need, needing the utilization of um, strong with in order to be able to, you know, function when it comes to my um, learning disability as a result of the accident. And what was, um, what is your learning disability as a result of the accident? Did they define what the learning disability is? Like a specific name? Yeah. Um, you would have to ask the doctors. I just know that I um, have issues with math and um, one of, as a result of the accident. And so when I went to college, my classes for math was actually substitute for something different. Um, I attempted to take a math class and I just couldn't work out a C, but it was extremely difficult. I had to use two tutors along with seeing a professor every day in order to help me. So I literally spent all my nine hours trying to get help every day to get through that class. Um, but it, but I wanted to try anyway. Um, but um, otherwise, I mean, it's not. Sure, and so you, you made a comment as to, um, I can ask your doctors, that's exactly what I'm trying to get to. Um, so what doctors would I be able to ask that from? About my... Your, your learning disability, your conditions, your, uh, your cognitive condition that you're describing. You told me that I can ask your doctors, and I'm asking you, which doctors would I ask that from? I don't know which doctor in particular you can go and um, ask that question of. I mean, I see a neurologist, but I see him for my right injury. I mean, the idea of the fact that I have an issue with, um, you know, with the coding or words and stuff like that, that is something that was established right after my accident. And so it has been always been, you know, I provide information, whether it's to a school or something, to say, hey, you know what, I had this, you know, um, accident, and as a result, you know, this is the disability that I have as a result of it. But I haven't really, I don't receive treatment from doctors where they say, hey, you know, you have this or you have that. Like when I needed, um, when I was having difficulty in school, you know, and the idea is I had to go to a doctor so that he could, you know, write down, you know, um, why I was struggling with the class. So what is it, what information do you actually have to write down and provide to the schools as to your condition? For you to receive this treatment? This extra attention. My doctors usually just write to them, just like explain to them that um, I have chronic back, chronic issues and stuff with my back and and everything. That I do have some um, issues and stuff with them, but it's more because I've had conversation with them, not okay. because. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I need to talk already, but who are you having conversation? With? I'm talking about like when I have a conversation with my primary doctor. Okay, and who's your primary doctor? Um, Dr. K. Dr. K, can you spell his last name? It's a her. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you spell her last name? K-A-Y. K-A-Y. Do you remember her first name? Kendra. Kendra K. And where is she out of? Columbia. And what clinic? What, what, what office? Like, is it Dr. Kendra K clinic? Or what's, what office is she working she out of? in Columbia. I can't say her office name. Do you know the address of the street in Columbia? I have it in my cell phone. Okay. Um, it's, it's something Columbia 100 Parkway, something like that. Okay. They just switch offices. Sure. And they and they provide letters or notices to your school for you to get a special accommodation of some sort. When I need accommodation, sometimes they do it. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes I've had um, the accommodations. Um, they were done by, you know, um, the school. Um, disability person, um, they would do it. Um, sometimes it was the neurologist that I had before Dr. Lee, but he retired. And what school are we talking about here? College. Sure, what college, what, where at? Which college are we taking? Uh, I went to Howard Community College, um, UMBC, okay. UV, and um, yeah. And this is all here, sorry I'm not from this area.